Hey guys, we're going to do a quick tutorial today to show you how to take your image for vinyl or HDV and make it a puzzle piece so that when you're layering you're not getting the bulkiness of layering vinyl on top of vinyl on top of vinyl or HTV, whatever it is that you're using. The one that I get asked a lot about lately is making a Mickey head with the mini bow and having the cutout for the bow so that there's no bulkiness there. So I've already ungrouped my bow from the polka dots. I'm going to bring it over to Mickey's head and you can change the, sh the size to make sure that they both fit correctly and then move it where you're happy. I like it right about here is usually where I get it. Now if your bow is not up front, make sure it is by highlighting it, right clicking and clicking bring to front. Now you want to highlight both images. Go to your modify window and hit subtract all. Now when you move your bow, you have the nice cutout right there. So I'm going to take my polka dots and they have to come back to the front. I'm just going to layer those back on top. I'm going to highlight the polka dots and the bows and just group them so that they stay together. Now another one that I've been getting asked a lot about is taking Cinderella's castle and putting it in Mickey's head but we don't want to do a make a compound path. Um, a lot of people want it to just straightforward cut out of the head with even down into the bottom. So how we do that is first I'm going to make the castle white so you can see. I'm going to shrink it down so that it fits properly. And I'll make it a little bigger. I'll zoom in so you guys can see properly. Now we want there to be overlap. You want this hang off. So now we highlight Mickey's head, Cinderella's castle, and we go to modify, subtract all, and then we just move the castle and delete it because now we don't need it. And cut right through into the bottom and curved, followed the curve of Mickey's head into Cinderella's castle. And there it is. Hope that helps. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and make sure you subscribe and follow me on Facebook.